Hey everyone, I'm Russ and I'm a co-founder of Voxel. Voxel is going to completely revolutionize the way that we distribute software on mobile. Today, there's pretty much one way to distribute your mobile app, and that's the app stores. And the app stores have seen incredible growth. There's over two million apps available across mobile devices. And there will be 80 billion downloads of those apps just this year. 80 billion. It's an incredible number. Except it's focused on the top 10% of apps. 90% of apps only see a handful of downloads. So what do developers do in this crowded competitive space? They spend money, lots of money, billions of dollars every year on things like banner ads, interstitial ads, video ads, anything to get you guys to discover and download their apps. But the problem is, even when you engage with these ad units, they still take you back to the same place. And that's the App Store. And the App Store, it feels like 20 years ago. It's like me walking into Electronics Boutique, staring at this wall of box software. I'm looking at static screenshots, reading through these lengthy reviews, trying to figure out, does this app deserve the storage space it takes up on my device? Only 5% of people from this point even choose to download the app. And when they do, there's still eight steps before they can even try it. Eight steps. We need to get this down to one step. There needs to be just one step between hearing about an app and experiencing that app. Well, today, I'm going to show you what one step feels like. Switch, uh, sorry, switch. Switch the iPhone. So Tim is playing a game on his phone that he downloaded from the store. And at some point, there's a natural pause in the gameplay. What we see is something millions of people see around the world every single day. And that's an ad asking him to play instantly. But what if when he taps this button, instead of taking him to the store, he could actually play instantly? With Voxel, he can. Tim is able to instantly play Cut the Rope. He's able to get a feel for the gameplay, see the graphics, hear the catchy music, and he didn't have to download anything. Let's let him play here for a few seconds on stage. So after 30 seconds of playing, Tim, what do you think? He loves the game. He can't wait to download the full version and continue playing. And that's exactly what interactive advertising does. It radically improves not just the install rate, but the lifetime value of a user. Interactive ads deliver better quality, stickier users to your app. Except with Voxel, there was no new creative that went into creating, making this ad. Your app? becomes the ad. And it becomes the ad through some pretty difficult technology on the back end. Voxel is virtualizing mobile applications. And we're allowing them to run in the cloud without any modification whatsoever. We're delivering the experience of the app through a low latency video stream to the device. Every time you see Tim touching the screen here, making gesture swipes, we're capturing those events and we're replaying them in the cloud. We handle every sensor, so accelerometer, GPS, single touch, multi-touch. Anything that your device can do locally, we can replicate that remotely. And the effect is dramatic. You're now able to interact with native apps without ever having downloaded them. Switch, please. Just imagine the possibilities now that you can interact with native apps but not having to download them. You can have the user try a premium item or a level, play with the photo filter, maybe test an interaction concept. The possibilities here are endless. And we make it incredibly easy for you guys to do. If you want to virtualize your app, you simply send us a binary, and we give you back a URL. And if you want to publish that app to users, you take that URL, 
and you plug it into either HTML5 or one of our native SDKs. It's incredibly easy to do. And today on stage, I'm incredibly excited to announce some of our earliest partners in both the app discovery and mobile advertising spaces. These guys collectively are pushing millions of impressions on mobile every single day. And they can't wait to bring these interactive, playable experiences to devices around the world. With our current and future partners, we are going to turn the mobile advertising industry on its head. And it's a huge industry. Remember that 80 billion app downloads I was talking about? That's projected to be a third of a trillion downloads in just two years, in one year. And $9 billion will be spent advertising those apps. It's a huge space, but it's not the only space that Voxel wants to disrupt. At our core, we are a virtualization platform. We have created a way for native apps to behave like web apps. So if you're an app developer or an ad network or interested in leveraging this platform, we would love for you guys to sign up for our private beta at voxel.com. Thank you guys so much. Great job. Judges? So, Russ, do you guys get uh, paid at a sort of cost per install model, or how do you uh, make money off this? Well, directly, we're not an ad network, so we're working with ad network partners as a platform provider. Uh, so they'll keep their existing model, whether it's cost per install, cost per impression, et cetera. So what's your model? What will you do? <laughs> so we, we have a rev share on the CPI with the ad networks. And then if we're a generic platform, we're just doing like an AWS model per session fee. So you, you're demonstrating this with games, which I would think would be the hardest things to actually, you know, I mean, response times matter so much in games for playability and what have you. That's why they're an app. How, I mean, it's Thank hard for me to believe, honestly, that you're, you're working as well as the app as the app can work. I would, I mean, am I just wrong? <laughs> uh, I mean, native is always going to run faster yeah. than over the network. Yeah. Um, but you're right, latency is a key thing that you have to optimize for. So for us, you know, our goal is we get latency down sub 70 milliseconds. I mean, what you were seeing is a live demo being run out of a data center right. um, remotely. So even Twitch games are playable in this environment uh, right. as well. I so think, we, in terms of the games we work work. with today, we work with all the core type games. And really, anything from a hardcore game to kind of the casual games has been running really well in this unit. Amazing. How do you get the latency down so low? Do you need to have servers everywhere for geographical yeah, Server location definitely matters in the uh, whole equation. But also is the technology. I mean, we've optimized every single pipeline in the whole delivery chain to make it super low latency. And it's super important to make sure that latency doesn't go above, like Russ said, 70 milliseconds, because if it's too high, then the user is going to press a button, and nothing's going to happen for a little while. And that's not a great user experience. If, I wanna, if I'm an uh, app manufacturer and I want to update the binary, how long does that process take? It's like virtually instant. Yeah, you hit upload once. You know as fast as your bandwidth can go, basically. Are you assuming that the app distribution model is going to stay basically the way it is in the status quo going forward, or will there be shifts to more mobile web in the future? I think mobile web is definitely a big part of it, HTML5 applications. But if you look at what some of these large companies have done is that they've actually gone backwards to port their HTML5 mobile client. Both Facebook and LinkedIn have done that back into native, because native ultimately still provides a better user experience today. Um, well, that, arguably, that's because HTML5 isn't quite there yet. But in the next few years, it could get there. Um, that, that's an argument. I mean, I think some people believe that mm -hmm. mobile apps are going to be better in native for a longer time because of the battery constraints that you have on mobile, because of the power kind of consumption that you have to worry about. Um, and, and also, just the people that run the App Store have to agree that this is a good idea, right? To let go of the stranglehold that they have uh, and move to a more open web-based distribution model. Right, so, so you see the likes of Apple and Google protecting that revenue stream pretty you know, aggressively. So that kind of feeds against the HTML5 argument as well. 
Right, so, but if you look at um, like international markets, like in China, you'll see mobile web usage growing dramatically, and like there's a little bit of Android and like even less iOS. So even if Apple and Google don't want to give up that distribution, like they may not have a choice. Right? They may not, but it also takes people building apps in these environments as well. And today, people are building apps natively. It, it, it's an interesting uh, decision to narrow down on this one, you know, interactive advertising as an application for this pretty magical thing that it sounds like you guys have built, right? Are there other, I mean, other applications of this might be a lot bigger. Why, you know, you can be your own publishing platform. So, so there's particular reasons. I mean, um, one of the things that you're afforded when it's an ad is that it's an ad and it runs for a limited amount of time and um, there's predictable costs around that as well. Yeah. Uh, when you can run these apps through the network forever, you know, you have to basically balance, figure out a cost structure um, and how you're going to make money from that. So, you know, I, I mean, we look at this area. There's a huge profit incentive on the part of the game guys. Right. And, and right now we're kind of to, to cut out the app store. Okay. I mean, big. And so, if you can host this with similar quality game experience, I don't know. I mean. I mean, today, because the mobile platforms are controlled basically by two companies, Apple and Google, anybody that wants to play on mobile has to play by the rules set forth by the right. platforms. Um, and we're not an exception, right? We have to be distributed ultimately to the end user. So we're very aware and kind of conscious of the rules they have set in place. So I, I don't know what you're saying. You're saying what you're doing, if you, if you tried to build your own app hosting cloud, they wouldn't For allow. example, like both of the app stores do not allow any other app stores to be distributed through their app store. So um, you have to find a way to get to the user's device ultimately. You're not, uh, you know, you're not going through the app store. You're just hosting this game. Anyway, <laughs> I think adding to that is—is uh, is that your ultimate goal? Is that what's going on here? I mean, we definitely have more ambitious plans uh, than the advertising business, but we we got to be very you know super laser focused on when I like space first. Are, are you buying buying BlackBerry? Are you building a phone? Is that is that what you're going after? <laughs> we Come are on, ben, benchmark things big. <laughs> All right, I think we're out of time. Great, uh, cool. Voxel. Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh,